everyone cobra here welcome back to my channel with another video on the grand mafia today we're going to be discussing the topic of farm accounts how to make one what they are and some tips for them so first thing we're going to jump right in what is a farm account this would be a secondary account typically a lot of people will use them to produce resources so you can just take all the resources you make there um if you use it for actually playing, then it's typically called like an alt account for alternate. Um, but farm account means pretty much you're just using it for resources and that kind of thing. Now, how would you make a farm account? This game makes it a little harder than other games, but it's still very doable. You just need another email. So you're going to click at the very top left, your profile picture. You're going to go down to the bottom right to settings. And then you're going to see manage characters and account. If you click manage characters, it'll give you the option to make a new character in a new city. But you cannot make a new a character in the same city you're already in doing it this way. You have to actually go into account. And I'm going to blur some stuff out here in just a second. Because I do not want everyone knowing all my info. But as you can see, I have it signed in through my Google and my Game Center. Now, if I want to switch to a new one, I'm going to hit switch account at the bottom, go to Google account, and then it's going to ask you to sign in with Google, you're going to click OK, and you're going to select one. We'll click, say, this one here, and now it's going to bring up any that are under that same one. You can see right here, Cobra Trainer 1331, that is City 581, which is the same city I'm in. It's actually in the same faction. So basically, you can see here, if I go to the map here, there's my other account. Bam. Same city. Now, so that's how you're going to make one. Uh, you'll have to go through the tutorial. I already have it set up because I've been using it for a few days. Now, what should you focus on for a farm account there are typically a couple different options for it that i would recommend one that i like to use a little bit more um and one that you know some people like to use i'm not a huge fan of it but so your two options are you either just you know make it even you build the same amount of every of the resource production like you see right over here the bank smelter ammo shop and warehouse you can you can build the even amount of those, work on the wreaths or the investments an even amount, and just kind of make it well rounded. But that's not what I recommend. What I recommend is actually picking one of those to specialize in. And since diamond labs are able to be built without taking the spots for these other buildings, you can do both diamonds and one. So say if I wanted, you know, if I always run out of uh, ammo on my main account. I would, other than these starting four, every single open spot I have, I would build ammo shops to produce more and more uh, ammunition. So this whole area down here that I haven't unlocked yet would just be ammo. And then all of these ones on this side would be diamonds. And then when you go over here to the specialties, it would be diamond production, arms production, all the way down. You know, Diamond 2, Diamond 3, Arms 3. And then you'd go over here to Specialties, Economy, and it would be Arms, 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 Arms. You know, and then that way, your production will eventually get up very high. If you have all the same one, that's what a lot of games, I don't know if they call it in this game as well, but that's what they call a Hyper Farm. In a lot of games, when you specialize in one thing and you have massive production. Because you should, in theory, be able to produce more millions in a day. If you have enough buildings at high level with all the right sp uh, specialties and everything. You should be able to produce a lot. So that's why it's a hyper farm. The other thing that will help is sometimes, if you look at some of these enforcers. Let me see if I have any unlocked. Yeah, like Belladonna, hers... Metal production. Metal production. Oh, these are ones I don't have. Um, so some of the enforcers can also give small amounts of production to help with that. Um, so if you unlock some of those, it can be helpful. But 
those are just my tips uh, for making a farm account. Um, like I said, you just need that extra email. And then to go back, you're just going to go the same thing. You're going to click top left, settings at the bottom right, account, switch account, click Google account, confirm, and then it'll have you sign back in and just pick the other one and then select the one that you want to go to. Since I have a bunch, I'm just going to go back to my main one here. And you can see it loads back up. It took less than 30 seconds for that whole thing to get back onto the other account. So nice and simple. Um, like I said, I do recommend the Hyperform route over the other one just because the other one is just going to be mediocre. Especially when you look at the specialties. Let's go down to like a three the low ones you know goes up one two th like percent each but the high ones you're going up 20 percent. so if you have two things maxed out it's going to give you much better bonuses overall than if you have you know five things that are not maxed out so that's what i recommend and then if you need more make more hyper farms some people in other games i've seen and i'm sure people in this one as well i just haven't seen it personally will have a farm for a uh, farm for ammo, a farm for cargo, a farm for money, a farm for metal. You know, they'll have four different ones that they just keep and they'll label it like, you know, metal, ammo, you know, all that stuff. And then they just periodically will go over and be like, oh, I need this today and just attack it. My other thing is if you're going to make a hyper farm, do not keep it in the same faction because it takes a whole heck of a lot more resources if you're going to be transporting the reason for this is tax so you always want to keep it a different faction and you want to just attack to steal the resources you will get much more of it because it won't be taxed so that's just a little information about farm accounts how to make them uh, my recommendations for setting them up to get you the best results if you have any questions please leave them down below i'm happy to help if you have any other topics you want me to make videos on, let me know as well. Please like and subscribe and thanks for your time.